Welcome to Incredible Malta. And look at this cool old town. The whole thing made from stone. And we have some interesting looking Stop. We're never gonna get there. Oh, whoa, look at that. This is like Cappadocia stuff with the little pigeon holes. Can we get down there? We have a path. All right. Gotta do it. What have we got here? Boom! Holes in the rocks. Gotta be human carved out. What in the world is this place? Does somebody live here now? It looks kind of taken care of. I will refrain from opening the gate there, but uh, this way, oh, it looks like uh, the gate is the way to access. I think I'm gonna go for it. There's no keep out, no trespassing sign, so I plead ignorance. What in the world? What a trippy thing to come across. Some of these barbecue. Okay, I should probably make this quick because this does seem like it's somebody's property. Look at that. So we have what looks very similar to in Cappadocia. Those would be pigeon roosts because they use the pigeon guano there you go, as fertilizer for farming. And so it was very important for their livelihood to have the pigeons providing the fertilizer in order to have decent crops and be able to survive. It's like a super essential element of their life. So that's just my best guess. And then another tower. Man, there is just so much crazy cool history on this one little island. Let's get out of here before somebody opens that door. But man, I want to see inside there so bad. This is a house inside a cliff with like a really nice door. This is full-on Lord of the Rings stuff. Then turn right onto Pierre Muscat. Look at this, Pink Floyd. Oh man. See, you end up in these towns that are just these mazes of little streets. Terrible album, by the way, The Division Bell. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? I've tried to listen to it a couple of times and always end up 
turning it off because it's just like, what? This is not Pink Floyd. The Division Bell and the last one, The Endless River, both just like so boring. I think that uh, the final cut was their last really good album. Turn right onto Mona. Hey, then turn left onto Emmanuel Vitali. See, now it's telling me to go right when there's a sign on school days only. I don't know, but it isn't one way at least. We're very close to where we're trying to get to. Guys, I am totally lost in the maze. I was just trying to get through town. It turns out this town is one of the most incredible places I've ever seen. Although I might have seen it before, I don't quite remember. Very likely I was here the last time, but it is just phenomenal. The problem is, Parking and just getting through here is just insane. Next parking spot I'm taken, but uh, I don't know how long that's going to take just to get out of here. There better be an actual way out. Looks like it up ahead. All right, lucked out. Somebody was just backing out of this spot here. Right in front of some sort of a school event. Now I have to remember where I parked because it's going to be a long walk back through these lanes here to try to get to the best of what I saw, which, as you will see soon, was just amazing. This is a uh, very popular town and for good reason. Okay, sounds like we have a service going on. Wedding, right in the middle of it. So up ahead is the most spectacular building that I saw going through the city, the town here. And what I was originally trying to find is up ahead as well. It is the St. Agatha Catacombs, which I am now realizing I very likely saw the last time. Probably I was in this uh, town. Okay, that says the St. Paul's Catacombs. But it's the St. Agatha Catacombs, which on Google Maps, it's showing that it's closed. The only reason that I decided to shoot for it anyways is just to uh, see if there was anything that I could see even though it was closed or if maybe it was actually open. And so this is all just another accidental find basically as far as my plans for the day. Magnus Sanctus Pavius, Pavlus. Okay, can we go inside? It looks like it. Let's see the inside of a cathedral finally, or church, whatever it is.
So there you go, St. Paul's Catacombs, St. Agatha's Catacombs. Let's investigate. There is something else that I really wanted to try to see today that closes at 6. It is currently 5 o'clock and that is 20 minutes away. 1865. And another one. So here you get an idea of what they're like. St. Cataldus Catacomb. So these very surreal, creepy tombs, basically. You can see the burial sites. I went inside them the last time. I think it's probably the St. Paul ones. And they're really, really fascinating. So here you have the St. Agatha's historical complex. Yep, Google was right. It is temporarily closed. That is what I really wanted to see. The frescoes. But, looks like St. Paul's might still be open. Let's go for it. I was here the last time, but it is definitely worth a revisit. Catacombs were dug in the site between the 4th and 8th centuries AD. So, it is really, really hard to not go up there and see that thing. Maybe I'll come back to it. But I'm trying to get to something else that closes at 6 o'clock. It is 8 minutes away. Take the next ride on to Tricu Tom Burial Chamber. Let's see if it's on the sign here. Yep. Agar Kim. Continue on Tri-Kim Tom Burial Chamber for one kilometer. And we have here another really interesting looking 
palace. I want to come back and try to see that. Even if it's closed, get a better view. There is that cross again. And yes, I'm watching the road. Let's see if we get a view of the palace right here. Not really. First, Hagar Kim. Hopefully six o'clock means six o'clock and not 5.30. Hagar Kim and Menajdra temples. Now, unfortunately the ticket office was closed, but there is an open gate here. It looks like it's under this big old tent here. Let's see what happens. Try to uh, walk through. I bet they're gonna say too late. Hello, sir. Hello. Just a moment. Ready? Okay. Yes. It's close. It's no chance. Ready. I'm sorry. It's Even close. ten minutes. But you can go around from here if you like. I see. Just go around and see from. Yes, yes, from there. But here it's close now. Not even just five minutes. Just no, uh, show. There are cameras, and I get yeah. trouble. Understand. Understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. So there you can see. Wow, it looks really quite impressive. It's kind of Stonehenge-ish. Dark, big rocks. Ah, oh, what a shame. Because it is before 6. It must be uh, ticket sales stop at 5.30 or 5 or something. Ooh, Menajdra temples. So maybe there is something that we can still see. that is outside of the gated area. Getting a good idea of what it's like though from here, but what a shame. But I have more time, so maybe I will be coming back. It's just that there is so much to see and I don't have a hotel for tonight yet. It is quarter to six in the evening and I don't know where I'm sleeping because I didn't know where I was going to end up, how much I would end up seeing. There is still more to see, including one of the most interesting things on the island, which is open 24 hours. And so I should still be able to see that. So there is another uh, big tent way down there. So I guess that is why they probably close at 5 or 5.30 because it isn't just that there. But another whole site down here, which looks like uh, you can get a pretty good view of from the outside if I can get all the way down there. Here is the other one. It looks quite impressive. Hello, I don't have a ticket. It was closed up there. Close. Uh, six o'clock, close. Because I was there before six. This part that I'm close. Yeah, I, uh, one minute, thank you, thank you. Okay, great. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Into the ancient temple. Look at this, man. This is otherworldly. 